Hello, my name is Brandon, and I'm going to be going over AgExcel's AutoX Compact Plus controller today. So the AutoX Compact Plus is a controller that AgExcel offers uh, if you weren't going to use, say, like a Green Star controller, a Pro 700, a Tremble, an Ag Leader, whatever kind of controller you want to use, this would be AgExcel's alternative. So what the AutoX Compact Plus does is it'll automatically... Um, adjust the rate of your pump system, either if that is the GX2 electric diaphragm pump series or the GX5 hydraulic diaphragm pump series. So this controller will come with its own Astro 2 speed sensor, so whenever you speed up and slow down, it'll adjust the pump's uh, rate for you, but it doesn't do swath control and it wouldn't do mapping. So whenever you want to change your gallon per acre rate, you'll actually have to tell the controller uh, how many gallons per acre you want to put out. Uh, the controller itself can control up to three sections. Again, not swath control, it would be a manual control. Uh, this first boom here would be for your first section, your second section, and your third section. So you can pull the switch towards you if you want uh, that one section off, or you push it away if you want that one section on. Now the controller itself, you have your on-off switch and your run-hold switch. So your on-off switch will turn the controller on. And as you turn the controller on, it'll go through a boot-up phase and now it's booted up. This run hold switch will simply put your control, it's your master switch. It'll simply uh, let you uh, run the system or when it's in hold, it'll simply stop the system. It's your overall master switch. With this controller, it can also use an implement switch. So typically we use a whisker switch or you can also use a mercury switch, any sort of two wire implement switch you can use with this. Uh, so let's say I want to do a nozzle flow check first. I wanna do a simulated run. What I'm going to do is there's this cow button and there's this LED light here. If I press and hold the cow button for three seconds, the red light turns on. This means I'm in the calibration mode. And when I'm in the calibration mode, I can change some of my more basic settings and I can also run the pump system. So when you are not in calibration mode uh, or if you want to get out of calibration mode, press and hold the cow button again for three seconds, red light shuts off, you are now out of calibration mode. So when you are out of calibration mode, these inner orange areas are what this adjustable rotary knob will be able to control. Uh, those will be the different settings that you will be looking at. And then when you press and hold the cow button, you'll see how it kind of points to cow and then it has an outline and it has other text around it. So when you go back into cow mode, that means you are now uh, looking at these outer settings. So if I was out of cow mode and my knob is pointed at rate, that means I'm actually looking at my actual rate as I'm driving. Um, but now that I'm in cow mode and I'm doing my simulated and my settings, um, I'm now looking at target rate, which means in this case, I, it says I'm doing seven gallon per acre. If I wanted to change that to say six gallon per acre, I'm not six gallon per acre. And then whatever setting in here you want to save, except for your test speed, that will always be at zero. But any other setting uh, you put in here, such as changing from seven gallon per acre to six gallon per acre in my simulated state. If I press and hold the cow button, that will save my setting. And then if I go back in, we'll see that it saved at six. So let's say right now I want to wet test my pump system. So I put in my desired rate. I switch my knob over to speed, test speed. And like I said, it'll always start at zero. Go ahead, press and hold your up arrow until you get to whatever speed you want to run at. So let's say in this case, I want to run at five miles an hour. So I have six gallon per acre, five mile per hour. I need to make sure that my number one switch is on. And then if I have a second and third section valve, I'd want to turn those on as well so I can get flow going to all my rows. I'll put it in run and you'll see that hold disappeared. And that means your pump system should be running. If I put it back in hold, you can see uh, my overall master switch has shut the system off. You'll also see right there where it says auto. That means I'm running my controller in auto mode. If I were to go out of my cal mode, and there's this auto man button right here. If I were to press that again, this means the system is running in manual mode, which basically means it's running as a real stack controller. So if I put my knob over to rate, I put my controller in run, and then I press and held my up arrow, I, your number on the screen won't change unless if you actually see flow going through your flow meter, which means flow is actually running through your pump system. But the more uh, you press and hold this arrow or you just press the arrow, if you look at the pump system, you should start to see your pressure gradually rise 
uh, and then your rate will gradually rise as well. And then whenever you want to stop that system, just put it in hold. Uh, and since most of the time you'll be running this in auto, go ahead and put this back in auto. And as you are driving and actually using the system or whenever you're just testing the system in the calibration mode, uh, then you can get a normal operation. So looking at some of the other settings in here, now that I'm back in cal mode, uh, I've, I switch my knob back to tank, which in cal mode is going to be adjust rate. Basically what this is, is whenever I press my up or down arrow, it's going to adjust the value by whatever number is in here. So right now it's at 0.5. So if I went back to rate and I went to adjust my actual rate, it should switch in half a gallon per acre. If I go to minimum flow, uh, this would be my setting for my minimum flow rate. Now you always want to keep your minimum flow rate at zero, even if say you know you're never gonna go below one gallon per minute, uh, you always wanna keep your minimum flow rate at zero. Uh, I've commonly seen issues where guys still don't go below uh, the low rate that they set, but the controller still won't allow you to go below a certain rate. So go ahead and again, always keep that at zero. Moving your knob over to flow cal, uh, this would be the calibration of the flow meter that you would be using. Uh, we will put this flow cal in for you. Uh, same thing with the minimum flow. Uh, these two settings will already have entered for you depending on the flow meter and pump system that you're using. If we switch over to with cal, um, ag Excel will also put in this setting for you along with speed cal and control speed. And basically what with cal is, that will be the width of your bar in inches. So say in this case, I have 120 inch, which would be a four row 30 inch implement. If I were to not press and hold, but just press the cal button, my little one there switches to a two. If I press it again, that'll switch to a three. And basically all that means is boom one, boom two, boom three. What are the widths of those booms? So say on a four row 30 inch, if I only had two sections, my first boom would be 60. And then my second boom would also be 60. And if you want to adjust the width, uh, you just simply press your up or down arrow to adjust uh, the width of that boom. If I go down to speed cal, uh, this will always be 0.189 because you'll always be using the Astro 2 speed sensor. Moving down to control speed. So this number can go up to four and all the way down to negative 12. Typically you will see this at negative one or negative three. And what the control speed does is it'll adjust um, how fast or slow your pump will react to a change in rate. So there's a, there's a sweet spot for this setting. You don't want the number to be too high um, or else your pump will fluctuate too much and it'll try to get to rate too quickly. And because it's trying to get to rate too quickly, your pump will surge. But you also don't want it to be too low because then your pump will be slow to get to rate. And sometimes it just won't even get to rate because it's so slow. So again, there's a sweet spot. Typically it's negative one or negative three. In this case, I had to go a little bit slower, which is negative five. Um, this number has to be adjusted for everyone. Uh, normally you won't have to adjust it, but uh, there's always a little bit of adjustment that needs to be had sometimes. And that would be about all of your settings in the calibration mode. There is another set of settings that you'll probably never have to touch. So I'm just gonna go out of cal mode. I'm gonna shut my controller off. And when you turn your controller on and it's doing this boot up, there's a couple different numbers I'm looking for, such as pulse right there. And this controller uh, can control PWM, which is what all of Ag Excel pump systems use, or it can also do a standard valve, which is a little bit of an older valve. Ag Excel doesn't use that anymore. So say if for some reason I said standard, um, if my controller is off, I press and hold cal first and then I turn the controller on, it'll say spec cal, and that just means special calibration. So right now I'm on page one of five. If I press the cal button, I can switch my page. And then in the manual that is provided for you as well, it'll tell you um, which uh, setting around this dial will represent what you would change. So in this case, if I'm over pressure on page one, I can change between standard and pulse, but of course in this case, because I'm using a PWM, I wanna keep it in pulse. Um, this will be your application ID. You'll always wanna have this at one. If I move up to distance, um, this will be my material. 
you'll always have that set to H2O. Your other setting is anhydrous, so keep it at H2O. And if I move it up to area, that'll be EN9. And basically that shows English versus metric. So if I want to go out of my count mode, I can either turn my controller off and turn it back on. But since I want to save my settings, I'm going to press and hold the cow button and that will save the settings I have in. And right now the page that I'm on is the same page I would be on if I were to turn the controller on for the first time. This would be the same page that I'm on. So let's say I'm ready to drive and test the system. Well, if your speed sensor is plugged in and you're in auto right here, move your knob over to rate. Uh, make sure that you have the correct uh, gallon per acre in here that you want, either if it's five gallons, 15 gallons, whatever rate that may be. And then as you're driving, the speed number will start to change. And if you're driving at 4.7 miles per hour, uh, the speed sensor with this AutoX controller will pick that up and it will show 4.7 miles per hour. And right now, uh, this is going to say no speed because I'm not driving. So you can't uh, show a gallon per acre rate without uh, some sort of speed. Now, if I were to move over to this volume per minute, uh, this will show me my gallons per minute. So as I'm driving, let's say I'm putting out five gallons per acre and I'm driving at five miles per hour, uh, whatever your gallon per minute should be, let's say in this case, it should be 0.5 gallon per minute. It, uh, another way you can verify that you're putting out the correct rate is by switching over to the volume per minute and making sure that uh, this shows the correct gallon per minute that you should be putting out. And when you want to run the system, hold again, we'll put the, it's the overall master switch that will stop the system from pumping. But if you put it in run, you'll see my hold goes away. And now my pump system should be turned on and should be running as I'm driving. And that just about covers everything for the AutoX controller. If you have any questions on the system, feel free to give us a call at 877-218-1981.